Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you a really cool tool you can use to track your YouTube stats, but not just yours, also other channels too. That's right, stay tuned. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be using a tool called Social Blade. I've been using their website for the past few years. It's a really great resource to get an overview of your channel and see what's going on with the stats. But by no means is it a replacement for YouTube analytics. So keep that in mind. In fact, I would recommend using both Social Blade and YouTube analytics together to get the best out of them. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to go to socialblade.com. That is the website. And there is a paid version to this. You can pay monthly or yearly uh, for different membership levels. There's like a bronze, a uh, silver, uh, a gold and platinum tier here. Uh, and these give you um, more stats, uh, premium data charts, um, 10 year report cards for YouTube, 50 year, 100 year, which is kind of interesting. But you know if you're looking to spend some money to get some more stats uh, check it out but for now i think the free version offers enough to get something out of it too so socialblade.com now not only can you track youtube you can also track other social platforms as well including um, twitch facebook instagram twitter uh, mixer and they also added TikTok support too so that's kind of cool but today we're going to focus just on youtube alone so the really cool feature about this is it will give you a brief overview of your channel. So let's type in Nintendo Chit Chat. There we go, I already have it typed in. So of course you would type in your YouTube channel name, click on search. All right, and here is my Overlord account. This is for my uh, bot that I used to have back in the day for chat. But here is the main channel. So it has a little overview here. It has my uploads, number of uploads is 2060, subscriber count and total view count as well. We'll click on select channel. Let's go to full screen for you so you can see. So the cool part here again is it kind of gives you a very brief overview, a quick glimpse uh, and an overall grade for your channel too. Now this is their grading system. I guess it's based on activity, subscriber count, uh, view count, and how um, your channel is growing. And as it says even here, the total grade is a visual representation of the social blade rank uh, based on the ranking against their whole database. So uh, social blade rank is up top here, subscriber rank, video views rank, country rank, games rank for the category that you're in. So I'm in games, so it shows that rank there as well. Then it has some stats for the past 30 days. Uh, it shows me with 50 subscribers for the past 30 days and also shows um, if that's either up or down. And right now we're up 25% over the last month. So that's kind of good. It has estimated monthly earnings here. Uh, and this is a fairly accurate number. It is a pretty big gap though, between $6 and $91. But again, this is just an estimation of the data that's available to Social Blade through YouTube. So, uh, but it's a pretty accurate range, I would say. And then you have video views for the last 30 days. And again, a number here will either be plus or minus showing your percentage up or down for that month. Subscribers Weekly, a little graph here for you. You can kind of hover over that and get different readings for each day. Of course, the ones below the line here are the lost subscribers. Uh, yearly Earnings is down here as well. And again, that's probably fairly accurate too. And then your total video views weekly. So at a glimpse here, you can kind of get an overall impression of your channel, see how it's doing, and maybe see what things are working and what's not working. But again, this is no replacement for YouTube analytics itself. This is just a nice way to kind of come here and get a quick overview or glimpse of your channel and see what the overall status is of it. We scroll down, we'll see a bit more detailed stats here for the overall month or so of time. So we have right now between April 25th all the way through May 15th. So this column then shows subscribers. Uh, this isn't always accurate though, or up to date. Uh, it shows groups of 10 gained here and 10 gained here, but the other days are null and void. And that's not really that accurate. 
Uh, I saw some other channels I was viewing earlier and uh, they have accurate counts here. So it could be a glitch within the system, I have no idea. But the overall subscriber total here is accurate, 3.73 and we have 3.74. And this is live here, that is the latest count, of course. Next column is video views by day. And again, this is a pretty accurate too. Uh, these won't be 100% accurate though. There's kind of a, a delay here with Social Blade. I would say it's between one, two or three days worth of data delay on this. So keep that in mind too. And your overall view count is next to the daily views and then estimated earnings here for each day as well. So daily, weekly and last 30 days is down here. And then you have some graphs down here too, uh, showing the past, uh, let's see here. This is May of, or April of 2017, all the way through um, this year, April of 2020. So the past three years of data is shown this chart here. Now, depending how old your channel is, your chart may show um, more or less. And then of course, monthly gain subscribers here. Again, this goes by month all the way through May 2017 up to the current year. I had some big spikes here early on in my channel and we had some really good views and subscribers from doing some preview content for Nintendo games. But of course, Nintendo doesn't really send out games for preview anymore or it's hard to get them. So uh, getting that kind of traffic is a little bit tough nowadays. So yeah, that is that. You can share this if you want on Facebook or tweet this. You can also click on to see full monthly statistics if you like. And that breaks down the entire month then. Then we have April 9th all the way through May 15th here. So we get a more of a full month perspective. You can also click on future projections. This is kind of an interesting page. Um, I'm not sure how accurate this is. It's probably an algorithm that's based on um, your activity, your amount of uploads, your view numbers, your subscriber numbers coming in. But as we see here, uh, two months from now, we'll be at 3,830 subs and uh, 934,000 views. We'll be over a million views in four months. I think it down here to like uh, five years, 29,000 subs. So it's pretty interesting numbers. Again, this is all just based on an algorithm with your particular stats for your channel. You also have graphs for that. Kind of going on a nice curve here upwards which is good for me, I guess, if that holds true, <laughs> but we'll see. You also have detailed statistics tabs, uh, feature box. Okay, so the other tab that I actually like here is the similar channels tab. And what's cool about Social Blade is it will kind of uh, compare your channel to other channels that are similar to yours, whether it be the same category or similar statistics like subscriber numbers and view count. Uh, so here we have an education channel. They have 3.7 thousand subs. Uh, similar views to mine as well same kind of grade so you can kind of compare your channel to others which is really a nice little feature now also you can get more than just these statistics here you can also click on their channel and also see um, their daily averages and monthly averages too just like we could look at ours earlier so we have computer world here they have 3.74 thousand subscribers uh, almost a million views like mine you can see their created channel date is made 30th, 2013. So yeah, this is just a really good way to kind of check on your competition, scout channels similar to yours and see how they compare in overall stats and maybe learn what's going wrong or what's going well with your channel. They also have a live subscriber count. You can click on this and it gives you kind of a live count ticker for subscriber numbers. If you're not getting many subscribers, you'll be sitting on your number of course for a while, but it's kind of cool to have a live counter there if you want. So here is Computer World's number. And of course, if we just sit here, it may go down, it may go up, depending what they're getting as far as subscriber counts go. But you can see the bottom here taking away and they're still on 3740. So good job, Computer World. <laughs> and now we're gonna show you Social Blade integrated within Chrome uh, using their plugin. They actually have a plugin for the Chrome store. So go to chrome.google.com, the Chrome web store. And this will be a really good integration uh, into your browser of Chrome. So if you use Chrome, definitely uh, use this plugin or this Chrome extension. So type in Social Blade. All right. I already have it installed here. So there we go. It has uh, four out of five stars, over 800 ratings. 
Okay, so once you install the Chrome extension for Social Blade, uh, go to the homepage of your YouTube channel and you'll see this big red tab here for Social Blade stats. What's cool now is we don't actually have to go to socialblade.com. We can just click here and get that overview that we looked at earlier right here within our channel on top. So here we have all the information like before, the grade, subscriber rank, uh, data from the last 30 days for subs, view count, and all the daily stats here as well. Then you can click here to view more on the website itself. But again, this is just a great little plugin you can use on the Chrome store to integrate within YouTube and Chrome itself. Uh, that way you don't have to go back and forth all the time to socialblade.com if you want to see some stats for your channel or other channels. Even if you're viewing a video of yours, we'll click on a video of mine here. Pause it here. So even if we're viewing a video, on my channel or your channel you'll get the social blade stats right here as well right next to the video which is cool again so we have all the stats here again the grade subs view rank the last 30 days views today as well so this is just a really cool feature and they also have uh keyword tags here so you can kind of see some keywords of the particular video and again you click view more to go onto socialblade.com and we'll also show you this. We'll go to my tab page here for subscriptions. Let's click on the Daily Tech News Show. So the plugin works the same for other channels too. So you can also view their channel stats right on their homepage of YouTube. Click on Social Blade Stats. And again, right here, it's integrated directly into YouTube right above all their videos on their homepage. If we click on one of their videos, the latest video they have up is this one here. We'll pause it. We'll get that same data right here over the right side. And there we go. So we can see there is no tags here for their video, but if they do have tags, you'll see the tags there as well. We can see the daily sub count here, views and views today, and all the other social blade data right there. So these are just really nice ways to integrate social blade uh, and be able to use the statistics to your advantage taking a look at your channel and other channels too that's what i recommend doing actually just kind of scouting out um, similar channels to yours uh, getting an overview of their stats and comparing them to what your channel is doing i think it's good to do that once in a while at least all right so go to the back end we'll go to creator studio a couple more little tidbits here with the social blade chrome extension you also get a little tab down here below all the other options is live subscriber count. We can click on this and that's integrated right into the back end of your creator studio. So we have a live sub count right here without going to the website. So pretty cool feature. And there's also a streamer mode too. We can click on this and it turns green, which means we can um, capture the screen on our live stream we can key out the green and have a live sub count on our stream which is a really cool feature if you want to add that to your streams at all and that wraps up socialblade.com and the chrome extension social blade let me know in the comments below what you thought it's a really useful tool uh, to use together with youtube analytics but by no means only use social blade you should be using both social blade and youtube analytics uh, that way you can kind of get an overview very quickly of your channel but also then dig down deeper by using youtube analytics let me know in the comments below what you thought and thanks for watching i'm eddie ray for the tech eddie show we'll see you back here next time